America weather starts now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back everyone. I hope you all have had a fantastic Thursday. I want to start off with this photo that was submitted by a couple of our viewers. This is from yesterday. We had some snow rollers forming off in the farm field here and snow rollers are basically snowballs that form when strong winds blow across a flat field and that snow has to have a temperature around freezing, which was the case yesterday since we have had mild temperatures throughout the week. And of course we have had those strong winds around. So that's why we were able to see some snow rollers forming. Talking about the wind today though, we finally got a break. It has been a little bit breezy in spots, but compared to the wind that we have had over the past few days, the wind was significantly weaker today. It was also another mild day today, a high temperature of 53 degrees in Great Falls, which is just five degrees shy of our record high of 58 setback in 1902 and 1986. Low temperature of 44 degrees this morning. On the Great Falls Clinic eye cam for a lot of today, we have had mostly cloudy skies and that's still the case right now. Currently 48 degrees in the electric city with just a light breeze out of the west at nine miles per hour. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s for most of us, so it still feels a pretty nice outside. There have been some scattered light to moderate rain showers around in portions of north central Montana. Most of us have remained dry though, and there is an Alberta clipper that is currently approaching our area. This clipper and the cold front associated with it will quickly work their way through our area overnight tonight. So there are going to be some scattered snow and rain showers around, and we are going to see an increase in the wind, especially in eastern Montana. Taking a look at future track, we are going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies overnight tonight. Generally dry conditions for the next few hours, but then overnight tonight as that cold front works its way through our area, there will be some scattered rain and snow showers around. It is a quick moving system though, so that precipitation is going to be out of here by the morning commute tomorrow. And for your day tomorrow, we are going to have decreasing clouds throughout the day. A few isolated snow showers are possible during the morning, but most of us are going to remain dry. And then we'll have increasing clouds and mainly dry conditions as we head into tomorrow night. Now in terms of how much snowfall you can expect to receive, most of us will receive little to no snow accumulation if you even see any snow at all. But there is a winter weather advisory in effect for the Little Belt Mountains, and that includes portions of Cascade County, portions of Judith Basin County, and portions of Mar County. It's where you could see one to six inches of snow accumulation overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. The wind tonight, really not a huge issue for a lot of us in central Montana, but in east central and eastern Montana, it will become breezy overnight tonight with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. But then for your day tomorrow, the wind really not an issue for everyone, just a light breeze around throughout the day. However, as we head into tomorrow night, we are going to have increasing wind throughout the night, and then gusty winds are expected on Saturday with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 30 miles per hour throughout the day. Tonight it will be a little bit colder than it has been over the past few nights. Lows in the mid to upper 20s and lower 30s. Tomorrow temperatures are going to be above average for this time of year, but it will be colder than it has been over the past few days with highs in the 30s and lower 40s. Heading into this weekend, it will be mild high temperatures in the 40s, partly to mostly cloudy skies on Saturday and Sunday. Another warm day on Monday, a high temperature of 50 degrees in Great Falls, but then it will be colder with some scattered snow around on Tuesday and Wednesday.